desearle lo mejor al equipo completo. Es posible que obtengamos más de dos medallas. Así que adelante y sin miedo por nadie. Adelante todo el equipo ese. Éxito a todos.
it is also a really realistic, regardless of the realistic uh, uh, defensive method of present time. It could be considered as a martial arts like boxing too, in spite of his uh, limitations as a sport. No wonder the reason many uh, former athletes of, of wrestling ended up like uh, security guards giving a broad. It is late uh, 2019. Here are the national wrestling team, which is training here in, in this uh, volleyball uh, facility. It has been training here since many years ago. One of our Juan Caballeros, our former uh, athlete, is, is uh, explaining related freeze wrestling techniques in the center 
along with uh, some of the main figures of the national team of Cuba at present time in late 2019. In spite of the economic blockade or embargoes the way it is known, uh, this sport has been practiced for many years here in spite of many local uh, obstacles including lack of medicine and even food at uh, present time as well for the athletes. Uh, enough for the present time. In the 80s it was better but uh, at the present time it is said that it is not the same. So in spite of that the national team of traveling is being uh, fighting and training here and even winning championships in, in spite of the uh, even economic obstacles of their society. That is something uh, amazing. Take into account that the rest of the world uh, powers and the sports uh, have uh, mo most of them from the developed nation have all the conditions to train and even to win. So in this in this kind of unfair uh, condition, they have been training and winning. What would happen if they had all the related uh, economic uh, support? in terms of the society society and food related uh, all the related needs would be covered in terms of the society uh, needs in terms of uh, you know uh, training you know for competition international competition in you know, uh, friendly games or friendly bouts with other teams coming here what would happen if that would have ever happened before I mean, in pre at present time, that's the main question. That's the main question that remains until present day. This probably would be one of the, the most powerful realm team if they had all the related condition, if the blockade or the embargo was finally eliminated. That kind of unfair and uh, really outdated embargo and blockade foreign blockade applied to all the Cubans against all the civil society including its this sport and many other sports as well the main figures of uh, Juan Caballero who is sat down on the left is a main it was a main uh, coach in the past present time too He's coming, he are retired, he's already retired to help his former uh, uh, athletes like uh, the one on his uh, left, stand stood up on his left, and the one who is uh, directing the train. In the center, his former athlete named uh, Torre Blanca. Boys are now fighting and training for the next Olympic cycle on the next uh, Olympics Games, which will be carried out uh, next year. So they are all training under these conditions. There is no air conditioning here, there is no running water to take a shower, so they have to take even public buses for transportation, most of them all they have a car which have given by the government even though they, they are obstacles, induced obstacles for, uh, applied from abroad. Those kind of uh, unfair and what is regarded here as a uh, really coward. I mean, uh, policy applied against the Cuban society, which is applied even at the at like a st stabbing their backs. I mean, behind them. It's right the opposite according to their logic general on local opinion. Is regarded as a as a coward uh, attitude instead of talking face to face and uh, solve the problem face to face 
by being the way it should be. Uh, two nations, two friendly nations, tied by history and uh, by your, their really near distance, taking into account all the Cuban population have a relative in that nation too. Mostly of the Cuban population. In spite of all those uh, facts, the Cuban wrestling uh, movement is also uh, practicing their sport here. And uh, attending to world wrestling championships. And that is a great achievement since many years ago. No matter the political uh, orientation, just uh, the will about winning, that's the, what's, what uh, drive them all. And have been very driven all the gen related generations here in this sport and many others. Right? And others are blocked coaches like uh, Juan Caballero on the left who is now helping them all by coming here in late 2019 at the age of 75.
mensaje como ex entrenador del equipo nacional de lucha libre de en sus tiempos, ¿no? Y ex atleta y miembro de la tribulación de Cierro Pelado para las futuras generaciones que eh, comienzan el camino de sendero en la lucha libre, por ejemplo, o en la lucha eh, greco-romana del equipo nacional de Cuba y del mundo. Tienen que amar el deporte, si no, no, no va a gustar. Y después que usted ya se mete a estudiarlo, 